Hi guys, it's Toby from Learn Thai with Toby. Today we are going to learn Isan, all the basic units. The easy thing about Isan is that you don't have to worry about formality. We don't have formal ways of saying things. If we need to speak formally, we would use Central Thai instead. So just make it fun and chill because people in Isan are friendly. And one thing to keep in mind is that they are loud. Listen again, I said they, not we, because I'm not that kind of person who likes to use all the time. I don't know if you can tell. And if you see people speaking like that in Isan, they're just talking, not having a fight or anything. How to greet in Isan? For hello, you can simply say Sawaddi, just like Central Thai, or you can shorten it to Waddi Kap or what the ja if you are a female speaker but the pronunciation is slightly different so i'll say it twice clearly and slowly i hope you can hear the difference between the two so in central thai we would say what the ka what the ka what the cup what the cup so in isan we would say what the ja what the ja and what the cup what the cup asking how are you it's not really a thing in isan we don't care the word for how are you it's somebody bo somebody bo somebody bo ja somebody bo cup but this can only be used when you know someone and haven't seen them for ages there are so many ways to greet on a regular basis. However, you can say Pai Sai No Pai Sai No which means where are you going or Pai Sai Ma No Pai Sai Ma No Where did you go? No, it's a particle added at the end to soften it. So it won't sound like pushing too much but I'm more like Wondering about them in a friendly way. Pai sai no, pai sai no, pai sai no ja, pai sai no kap. Gin kau pai, gin kau pai. So listen carefully. It's kau, not kau, kau like the word ni in Thai. Gin kau pai. You can say this any time during the day. It doesn't matter. Unless you literally see them just finish eating. Those are natural ways of greetings in Isan. And these terms apply to Central Thai too. We don't say good morning, good afternoon and so on. And by the way, we don't shake hands or kissing on the cheek. So if you do that in your culture, don't do it in Isan. You might scare people. And yes, we do the why just like in Thai. How to introduce yourself in Isan. So the word koi means I. It can be used for both genders. Sawadija koi su som o. Sawadija koi su som o. Hi, my name is som o. That's my Thai name, by the way. And if you're a guy, sawadikap koi su jem. Koi su jem. My name is Jem. Koi ma jak angkit. Koi ma jak angkit. I come from England. Koi ma jak and followed by the country that you come from. That's real Isan. But if you talk to a younger generation, you can simply use chan or pom. That's fine. Yeah, of course, you want to sound like Isan. So better use koi. And that's it, just your name and the country that you come from first. One thing to take note of is that you can skip koi and zhao most of the time. We don't really say nice to meet you or anything like that. If you want to say, you can say just like in Thai, Yin di thi dai ru jak. Yin di thi dai ru jak. But to sound more isan, ยินดีที่ได้หู้จัก. ยินดีที่ได้หู้จัก. 
but it may sound insincere because we don't really say it to be honest saying goodbye when you're leaving a conversation or when you want to sneak out from a group because it's time to go home or you just have no idea what they are talking about you can say ไปก่อนเด้อไปก่อนเด้อ or เมื่อก่อนเด้อเมื่อก่อนเด้อก่อน it's gone in Thai which means I got to go or I go home now see you later ไว้พ่อกันไหมไว้พ่อกันไหม Paw, it's to or to meet. How to thank someone? You can say ขอบคุณ just like in Thai, but we pronounce slightly different. Or you can say ขอบใจขอบใจเด้อขอบใจหลายเด้อ There isn't any huge difference between ขอบคุณ and ขอบใจ They kind of mean the same thing in Isan. ขอบคุณขอบคุณครับขอบใจครับ If you want to say thank you so much, you can say ขอบคุณหลายๆเด้อขอบคุณหลายๆเด้อ or ขอบใจหลายๆเด้อขอบใจหลายๆเด้อ And don't be surprised if the vendor don't say thank you if you buy their stuff. I don't know why, but Rarely, you will see people say thanks in that kind of situation. How to respond to thanks? ยินดีจ้ายินดีจ้า If you're a female speaker, a male speaker would say ยินดีครับยินดีครับ It's my pleasure. บ่เป็นยังบ่เป็นยัง Or you can say บ่เป็นยังดอก means no worries or that's okay and it can also be used when someone apologizes to you how to apologize in e s a n ขอโทษเด้อครับขอโทษเด้อครับขอโทษเด้อจ้าขอโทษเด้อจ้า this can be used for both when you want to interrupt someone or apologize so it's just like in Thai when you say ขอโทษครับ or ขอโทษค่ะ So, ขอโทษเด้อ means excuse me or I'm sorry. You can simply add หลายหลายเด้อ at the end, just like saying thanks that I mentioned earlier. หลาย means a lot, very or so much. Let's say if you accidentally step on someone's foot, you can say ขอโทษหลายหลายเด้อคอยบอได้ตั้งใจขอโทษหลายๆเด้อคอยบอได้ตั้งใจ I'm so sorry I didn't mean it How to respond to apologies กะสร้างมันทอกกะสร้างมันทอก Forget it or it doesn't matter บอเป็นยังบอเป็นยัง Oh that's okay This one can be repeat to emphasize that it's not really a big deal to you บ่เป็นยังบ่เป็นยัง like that บ่เป็นยังบ่เป็นยัง just twice is enough บ่เขียดเดล่ะบ่เขียดเดล่ะ I'm not upset with you เขียด it's g r o w in Thai this is more like when you know someone quite well such as your partner or family members it sounds loving when you say this especially when you are a b a k s i d a b a k s i d a is a word used to call foreigners in e s a n which literally means guava, and it has nothing to do with guavas or white skin. Numbers in e s a n we use the same word in Thai except 20. We say sao, sao, which has a similar pronunciation as the word sao in English, but we don't say sao. Like that, so I'll count quickly, and I hope you can hear the difference. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. หก
เจ็ดเจ็ดแปดแปดเก้าเก้าสิบสิบสิบเอ็ดสิบเอ็ดสิบสองสิบสองสิบสามสิบสามสิบสี่สิบสี่สิบห้าสิบห้าสิบหกสิบหกสิบเจ็ดสิบเจ็ดสิบแปดสิบแปดสิบเก้าสิบเก้ายี่สิบเศร้า See the main differences are four and สิบ I guess so we say สิบ it sounds more like สิบ like สิบ in English it's not สิบ like in Thai but don't worry about that you are good to go just accept the word เศร้า the word เศร้า it's also applied to northern Thai too that's it for today guys I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to learn more Isan on family member words, tenses, Isan bad words, practice listening, other topics on Isan, please join my Patreon. It's only three bucks a month, and I will see you there. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching. See you. Bye.